Today we're checking out Morden Cannon and Oathbreaker and seeing what kind of signature spell might pair best with them. For four blue blue, he starts at five loyalty. Plus two, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. Minus two, create a blue dog illusion creature token with, this creature's power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of cards in your hand. Minus 10, exchange your hand and library, then shuffle. You get an emblem with, you have no maximum hand size. Now, six mana is a lot, and this guy isn't crazy good, to be honest. However, he is pretty cool. I especially like that minus two in a deck that revolves around drawing just a whole bunch of cards. If the dogs he makes are reliably like 12-12s, then yeah, that seems pretty good. The question is, what kind of a signature spell do we want with this guy? There's Morden Kanan's Polymorph for a flavor pick, but this doesn't seem to be what the deck would want. We could pick a signature spell that draws cards, and See the Truth is one of my favorites in the format. For two mana, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of those cards into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. If this spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards into your hand instead. So you're going up three cards for just two mana with this because you're casting it from the command zone. Technically, you are not drawing the cards, you're just putting them into your hand, so if you built your deck around card draw triggers, then this won't work, but otherwise, really good option. Archmage's Charm is an instant for blue blue blue. Choose one. Counter target spell. Target player draws two cards. Or gain control of target non-land permanent with mana value one or less. As a card draw spell, there are better, but I love the versatility here. I love that it can be a counter spell if you need that instead, or occasionally a control magic for something little. There's some one mana options like Ponder, Preordain, and Serum Visions. And of course, Brainstorm, which draws you three cards, but you have to put two of them back on top of your library. In a draw trigger type of deck, this could be really good. And it's actually the most popular signature spell with this Planeswalker. If we were keen on getting to that minus 10, then a draw spell with Proliferate could be good. And speaking of that minus 10, this is a weird one. All right, Windfall is a sorcery for three mana. Each player discards their hand, then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. If you've already minus 10, then you've got your whole library in your hand. Cast Windfall, discard it, force everyone to draw that many cards. Hopefully they draw their deck and lose. I'm not saying this is a good option. In fact, I'm blatantly saying that it is not. You've already got a six mana Planeswalker. Having your plan be to get him up to minus 10 and then cast Windfall, it's asking for a lot. You better be playing really casually if you want to pull this off. But it is a cool thing you could do. Okay, moving away from signature spells that draw you cards, we've kind of got the opposite next. If your deck is focused around drawing cards, we could pick a signature spell that has an alternate cost of discarding or exiling a card from your hand. These are great options for a Planeswalker at six mana because you're probably not gonna have any mana left to cast your signature spell that turn. Misdirection has you exile a blue card from your hand to change the target of target spell with a single target. Force of Negation has you exile a blue card from your hand to counter target non-creature spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. And Force of Will, you may pay one life and exile a blue card from your hand rather than paying its mana cost to just straight up counter target spell. There's even Commandeer, you may exile two blue cards from your hand rather than pay its cost, gain control of target non-creature spell, you may choose new targets for it. So you can nab their Planeswalker as they cast it with this. Personally, I think there are better Planeswalkers than this for Oathbreaker, and if you're interested in seeing some, click one of these videos, or check out my channel. I've got well over a hundred of these videos by now, matching Planeswalkers to signature spells. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.